again for all our fans, for Back Forest Street fans. Uh, we've recently had the, uh, quite a few people asking, how do you operate a machine like this? How do you start a machine like this? What's the, what's the things? What's the ABC of using the machine? So it's so simple. First of all, you, you put a blade on. That's the first thing. You put a blade on around these two big rollers here. On top of this, yeah, around the rollers, and then to tie up the blade, you're going to use the right hand side tensioner, and this will tension the blade, the right hand side. Okay, next operation is you'll have to fit these two guiding rolls or rollers, whatever you like to call them. But be very careful and pay attention to this. Once you put them into a position, make sure they do not press onto the blade. Well, we had people saying, uh, sorry, not saying anything, but asking, what's, the, what's, what's with these rollers? They're just guiding rollers. Their own goal is to prevent the blade from going backwards. You know, because of this heel in here, or shoulder or whatever you like to call it this keeps the blade in place so you won't allow the blade to move backwards so once this set up make sure they don't press on the blade the blade has to be straight between the big two rollers and these two do not have to press on the blade okay so first is the blade tension the blade second is the rollers third operation after you've done this you make sure you are safe and for that reason you're going to put the guards on with the machine started don't you ever get in front of the machine working especially when in working condition do not ever get in front of the machine never so you put the guards on Make sure they tie up. <coughs> okay, the next thing is the engine. How to start the engine? We have people coming with all sorts of questions. Some of the questions were pretty normal, asking us how do you start the engine? Uh, to start the engine, it's a pretty simple operation. The machine is operated by a Honda petrol engine GX390. The first thing is to switch the on off switch onto the right hand side. This knob here on position. Now it's on. The second thing, if you look on the left hand side under the air filter, there's two series of two series of levers in here. The top one, as you can see on the left hand side, is the choke. So it shows you in this position to the left, maximum left, it's full choke on. The bottom lever, which is this one here, is for the fuel pump and it has to be open. So for that reason only, you follow the sign in here, the arrow points to the right and now it's full right, which means the pump is open. So the, the fuel comes into the, the cylinder. And next, have a look at the throttle which is this lever on top here and as you look in here it's got three positions maximum throttle medium rpms and low rpms so when you start initially in the morning and especially when it's cold outside make sure the throttle lever is on maximum which is to the full to the left as it is right now onto the rabbit position once you've done these all so switch on the knob next one Choke on to the left, pump on to the right, and the throttle on to the left, maximum revs. Once you've done this, the next operation is to pull the handle, which is this one here, okay? So you pull the handle, and the machine started. And now it goes like this because 
the choke is still on. Once you pull the choke back, and the engine runs smooth right now. again. The blade in itself slowed down, which is very good. And now, back in the we will just stop the machine by switching the knob to off. And that's it. So don't start the machine on fully tension driving belt and don't stop the machine on fully tension driving belt always be careful of this because by by doing so you're gonna snap the belt immediately so you have to be a bit careful of how do you operate the belt the machine sorry in itself and if you take care of the belt you're gonna prolong the life of it okay so one other question it was how do you measure using the using the, uh, the the thickness gauge in here how do you measure the thickness of the cut right as you can see the log as you can see the log down there it's already been sliced through so it's on a straight surface right now right so what we're going to do now we're going to lower the cutting gear by using this lever on the right hand side we're going to lower this <coughs> until the blade is going to touch until the blade is touching the plane surface right so you see now it's on the plane surface right we take it off and now we are looking at the game here as you can see for instance it's on centimeters right if you bring it like this so let's just say we're going to have a one inch thickness cut so one inch is 2.5 centimeters so one two two and a half centimeters so what we're doing now from this position right we just lower the blade onto two and a half centimeters 
and now we are on two and a half centimeters right here right so once you've done this that that's how you measure it simple as that it's so absolutely simple so if you look at the blade again now the blade it's set to cut one the blade over there it's set to cut one inch thick okay we're not going to do it but just to show you how you operate this the ruler as a thickness gauge okay well we hope this video it will help you to understand the, uh, how to operate the machines and it's so simple down to the earth step-by-step -step operations and I hope we've been pretty helpful thank you